Hi everybody, Scott Sachs in Washington, D.C. Today I'll be discussing writing a competitive offer to win for your buyers. Hi everybody, Scott Sachs in Washington, D.C. Today I'll be discussing writing a competitive offer. And we're in a market right now where it's definitely a seller's market. There's very low inventory. We've got pent-up buyer demand. So what that means is a buyer is you need to be ready to write competitive offers. What that means for a seller, obviously price is incredibly important, but you get to a point where you can only go so high, whether it's using an escalation clause, et cetera, where the price makes sense. So you have to look at other ways to make your offer compelling. Ways you can do that are number one, settlement date. Making sure that the settlement date that you select corresponds with what is most ideal for the seller. If it's vacant, doing a 30-day settlement and making sure the lender can meet those deadlines is very important. If they're looking for a home, giving them 60 days plus a post-settlement occupancy is something you should consider doing. You need to be amenable to the needs of the seller in those situations. Here are the other ones. Your standard contingencies in any offer are an appraisal contingency, a financing contingency, and a home inspection contingency. I'm seeing offers right now that are totally clean, meaning there are no contingencies in the deal. Once a seller signs it, it's done. As a buyer, it's very important that any offer you write, you have to be comfortable with. And so going through the process and having this dialogue with your real estate professional is very important in understanding the implications of that. But once you do, it is important to be able to write an offer that's going to be a winning offer, whether that means waiving your home inspection contingency, but doing a pre-inspection prior to offer deadline so you know any adverse conditions with the property and are comfortable moving forward without having that inspection in place. Or speaking with the lender prior to that offer to make sure you're already fully approved, you provided all your loan docs and it's been underwritten, or that the appraisal amount might be comfortable for them where you're comfortable waiving either the financing or a portion of those contingencies so that your offer stands out. There's also additional creative things you can do, whether it's paying sellers transfer taxes and things like that, that offer the seller a higher net without impacting the price where it becomes an appraisal concern for getting your loan. These are all successful techniques that I am currently implementing for buyers in order to get winning deals through. I am seeing both for on our own listings and for offers I'm writing for buyers, properties that have escalated as much as $100,000 over list price right now uh, for highly desirable locations and good properties uh, that show well. I mean, this, this is the atmosphere that we're in. So be prepared. If you have questions, which I'm sure you do, please reach out to me. I'm happy to address those or sit down for a consultation so you can be as competitive as possible going into the spring market. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video.